going now? Hey, beautiful people. It's your girl, J. Millie TV. And this is my first YouTube video. Um, I recorded this back in January. So it's long overdue. My camera's leaning. Uh, can we not lean? Can you focus on me? Oh my gosh. Just focus on me. Whatever, I'm gonna hold it. So yeah y'all so this is my first ever youtube video i am so scared i was gonna say so excited i'm so scared um because i am not used to exposing myself i expose myself on my like like instagram kind of um my cl but i don't really expose myself to the world um so this is exciting i guess <laughs> i always wanted to do youtube since i was itty bitty itty bitty itty bitty um and i've always been told you should start a channel you should do this you should do that and it just felt like confirmation like that i should do it so i bought a camera back in december it was my own christmas gift to myself and i started vlogging in january but I started procrastinating i was also in school so it was kind of hard for me to do both um so i have a, a vlog that is very old like i said old to me new to you um but i still feel like it's good content i need to get it out the way post it i finally learned how to i'm not the best editor i'm just now learning but i'm at least learning how to do some things rather than nothing um so yeah, just remember I'm a beginner and don't judge me. It's like, no, actually, if you want to judge me, judge me. I don't care. I don't care. Because gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. Anyways, but this vlog that you're about to see right now, my first ever vlog is when I had COVID. So y'all know, back in January, not now. I don't have COVID now. But I did have it in January and I felt like I was dying. So that's exactly what you're about to watch today. Um, I'm gonna try to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I also have some recent vlogs, like when I'm, I just moved into my apartment, I will be posting that. Um, me decorating it, I will be posting that. Also just me, you know, living my life. You'll see beauty, you'll see lifestyle, you'll see, you might see some pranks. Um, family time, adventures, trips. Um, all of the above will be on this channel. I don't really know if I'm going to sing on this channel. You might catch me singing in my videos just like because I just do it naturally. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. And here we go. Also, one thing I wanted to say. Before y'all get into this video, I just want to clear it up. I was hella sick. So I look sick. Um... But then I'm not gonna lie, there's some videos in my bonnet and I look like how I look in the morning. Good morning, rise and shine, uh, brush my teeth, wash my face, and go. So it's not gonna be glammed up, lashes, lip gloss, nah. Y'all gonna see the real me and y'all gonna see the glammed up me, so yeah. Now get into this video. <laughs> hey beautiful people, it's your girl J. Millie TV. Yesterday I got some terrible, terrible news. Um, I have the Rona. Yes, my test came back positive. I wasn't feeling good, and I lost all taste and smell. Like I can't smell anything. Like I <laughs> tested my candle. Um, hold up. Who calling me? Hello. Hello. It's not even know anyone. So I tested my candle, I tested my perfume, my lotion, and I took a shower and I ain't smell my soap, which was weird. And I was eating, it didn't taste like nothing, like it tasted like nothing. My toothpaste didn't taste like I knew my mouth was minty fresh. I just didn't know if it was minty, it was just fresh. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so I went, I went to, first off, I don't have my car anymore. Um, so I went to Med Express and the lady was in there being acting just weird towards me. So like, 
Like she was acting like she couldn't find my insurance. Acting like she couldn't find anything. I called my parents. My parents called her. She's like, well, your daughter can walk to UPMC. Da -da 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 -da. Like, what? First of all, I don't feel good. And you want me to walk all the way to UPMC? Like, so then I called my cousin. My cousin came, picked me up, and took me to this place that me and my sister went to um, to go get checked for Rona. So before we went home, because my mom, you know, my family, they, they can easily get it. And it would be worse for them because our immune systems are very low um so yeah so my cousin got me we went there and i sat in the back seat and i had three masks on and a face shield and i had the windows open and my my cousin sat in the um the driver's seat with his mask on and basically we was just talking and we was like you know i was like it ain't rona i think it's just a really bad cold like I think it's weird that I can't taste, but I saw that mucus can affect that. And I was like, and I don't think Corona's mucus based. It's like, I really just think it's just a cold or whatever. I was in the car and basically they asked me questions maybe five times before they even tested me. Like the same questions from five different people, like a nurse, the uh, the person at the front desk, the doctor, the some like it was just like dang, like yo, I need to be tested. I said what I said. <laughs> Why are you guys asking me every five? Like what? Like I said what I said. I need to be tested. So then, um, they finally came out. She was like, I think it's fair that we give you a test. I think it's fair. That I think it's fair. I think it's fair, girl. If you don't give me that dog on test. I was like, I think it's fair. I feel like this is a reason why. This is the reason why COVID is running so, you know, rampant. It's because they're like debating if they want to give you a test or not. If they feel like you deserve a test. If someone is scared that they might have the Rona, give them a test. I see that there might be some people who might try to get tested every day. That's understandable. If someone says they need to be tested then test them like come on now so um i'm about to get in trouble y'all i'm not supposed to be laying on my back i'm not on my back well i guess i am you lay on my side um so basically my um yeah so the lady came out she tested me and then it was like 15 minutes of a rapid test and she came back out and she was like i'm sorry she was like, but Jamelia, your test is positive. You have the corona. Yo, when she said that, I was like, bro, my heart sunk to my chest. Like, I low-key wanted to cry so bad. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, loud. But then my cousin, why my cousin, when she said that, he was like, Jesus. I was like, ah. The doctor heard her thing. It was so funny. He was like, Jesus. <laughs> I was like, bro, that was so scary. So, I was scared to tell anybody for real. So, I texted my roommates and I told them. And they, they wasn't feeling good either. So, they're getting tested. But then, I told my parents. And I love my parents so much because they like, they came to my rescue for real. They just like sent me a bunch of stuff, waters, and they gave me soup. They gave me this soup that I don't really like that soup, but I can't taste so I'm just eating it while well, trying to. It's hard to eat kind of because without tasting nothing means it don't taste like, like imagine food with no flavor, food. That's what it's, <laughs> no flavor. And then it sucks. <coughs> Sorry, it sucks because I'll be like craving some chips. Like, I'm like, oh, I want some hot Cheetos or some Doritos. And I got them, right? But then I eat them and it don't taste like hot Cheetos or Doritos. <laughs> I'm like, yo. And it's crazy because part of me, like, it's kind of irked. Because I wish I lived my best life and got Rona. Not me trying to be safe and getting Rona. Like, <laughs> definitely stay inside because. Regardless of not if you can get Rona doing nothing or doing everything, it's not fun for real. 
I'm about to be quarantining it up. It's boring sometimes. Yeah, so. Alright, have a blessed day.